the Premier League and qualified for the Europa League, of course, last season. Slotted forward. This could be a chance for Tommy O'Reilly, the captain. O'Reilly goes for goal. Good save. Who's going to put in the rebound? Yes, it's in on the follow-up. Aston Villa have an early lead. Broggio, the teenager, reacted first. Great run. O'Reilly inevitably involved. You felt he was going to be a key player tonight, pulling the strings for this Aston Villa side. And the number 11 was in the right place at the right time from close range. That's just the tonic, just the fillet Villa wanted at the start of this game against a very good Brighton side. They're going well in the Premier League Cup this season. And they've got that goal just after the three-minute mark. Row for O'Reilly. And there was Broggio to gobble up the chance. Amazing, yeah. Here's uh, Broggio. He's uh, got his tail up, hasn't he? He's really playing like someone who's got himself an early goal. Oh, what a pivot. That's brilliant. Great balance from Broggio. The scorer plays it in, and it's number two. That was absolutely sublime. And Kobe Moore has the simplest of tasks of knocking it in, but it's been the Ben Broggio show so far. He scored early, and that was mesmerising. He bamboozled the Brighton rear guard just using his technical ability, his awareness, his intelligence, and it was a, a, a simple finish, but he, 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 he made sure he was there, Kobe Moore, but this is a dream opening for Villa all over the Seagulls. It's Villa 2, Brighton 0. Is Richards trying to get on the end of this one, but the keeper came out, Richards keeps going, and then he finds a way past him. That's quite superb from Rico Richards. He's been in really good form of late. He's enjoying his football with Aston Villa. He's come to the club with a smile on his face. He's integrated into the setup, and he scores again. Three for Villa in this first half. They've been utterly dominant, by far the better team, and it's a fair reflection of the play, this scoreline. It's been a terrific display, this, from the junior villains. Three goals, one for Broggio, one for Moore, and now Rico Richards. Yeah, but a big um, program coming up. Yeah, they take on Fulham here a week tonight. We'll have that one live for you. Then it's a, a busy January with the Birmingham Senior Cup. Here now come Villa looking for number four. Surely they'll get it. Tommy O'Reilly was never going to miss. Captain, fantastic. A fourth goal, a fourth different scorer for Aston Villa. And that is job done. This has been a brilliant night. Under the lights at uh, Bodymore, yeah, they're set that, for the knockout Josh, phase. They're bossing this group, that is for certain, so and they've just been clinical. Yeah. They've been head and shoulders above Brighton and O'Reilly, who pulls the strings. He sets the tempo through the middle, and absolutely no doubt whatsoever that he was going to bury that one past Tommy Reid. And it's Villa 4, Brighton 0. By Jim Oaloba, but get over it. I, I, you know, he's, he's he's shouting out there, trying to get the player. But, but I just don't get that. Um, and there's a yellow card, and now we've got a red, and we've got another sending off for a Villa player in a home game here. It's been uncanny this season at Bodymore, and there's been no malice in it, but it's a second yellow for Josh Feeney, and that's a real shame to, to end the night like that, because he's been immense in this game. He nearly scored. He's been brilliant with Smith and, and the keeper behind him, the, the two fullbacks, and, and to get that, that second yellow to, for them to end in 10, I mean, it's not going to spoil the night, is it? But it just puts a little bit of a dampener on what's been um, a, a terrific evening.